Hey there, this is my next this is my next lick. This is the caged method G shape. This is the second riff um, of those and we've done G shape is right here. Play a G chord. Play it with the second, third, fourth finger, and then that frees up the first. Now there's A flat, there's A, now here's B flat. Now so you can you can think kind of you're playing a G shape area in this area, but it's actually a B flat. So we're playing over B flat chord, for example. And the lick I did was um, a piano lick, essentially. It was a Count Basie lick. And, and the, the micro lesson here is the lick. The macro lesson is listen to other musicians, other artists, to get ideas for the guitar. In fact, you'll probably be a much more unique guitar player if you do that. If you listen to only guitar players, you're probably going to, everybody's going to be able to say, oh, he sounds like Eric Johnson, or he sounds like Eric Clapton, or he sounds like some other Eric. Um, and so we don't want that. What we want is we want you to be unique and be you 100% and you've got a lot of influences. And so um, one of, you know, piano, listening to piano players is a great way to come up with different things. Um, another, you know, I even, you know, saxophone players, but I even, I mean, if you want to kind of come up with a bunch of cool blues licks, man, um, transcribe some licks by Christina Aguilera. She's she's a beast when it comes to singing licks. And I, I went through it, she, you know, like, you know, try to make it sound like her voice. Do the same articulations and slides. Kind of imagine how she, if she's sliding or if she's hammering on or whatever with the voice. It's pretty cool. That's a that's a this is a that's the macro lesson. Really try to uh, be influenced by everything. And you can be influenced by a piece of paper crumpled on the ground. Uh, okay, maybe not. Anyway, you can be influenced by music any from any instrument. Okay, so this lick is really pretty simple, uh, it, but it's really a chord. It's, it's, it's three three notes, top three strings, and right here, um, I'm again, I'm at the third fret. I'm barring the second and third string at the third fret with my first finger, and I'm reaching up here and getting the B flat with my pinky. Okay, this is very bluesy, and I, I take my other fingers away so you can see what I'm doing, and I'm sh making it short, and I'm actually grabbing it with my my uh, thumb and my fingers, so I'm not using a pick here, but you could totally use a pick. Okay, so the next one is we keep the pinky where it is. Don't move the pinky. Um, we're going to go up to the fifth fret and the second or fourth fret of the third and second string. So basically without the pinky, it's this is the lick. Three and three, five and four, six and five, seven and six. And if you want to have that Count Basie kind of end of song uh, vibe, you can copy that rhythm. Three, four, and the end is, end with the, the B flat, low B flat. Now, um, but what I what the tricky part is to keep that B flat on top. So you notice you have to change your fingering just about every time. Again, the pinky's on top here for the first chord. Bar the third fret, second second and third string. Then you're going to be uh, basically, top three strings, it's going to be five, four, and six, and then you're going to go up here. And I, when I go up to this one, when I'm up at six, five, and six, I go ahead and take away my pinky and use my third finger. And then you finish off with basically what's the top three notes of a, of a B-flat bar chord. Try it. Okay? And music, uh, theory-wise, we have the second string is the third, the fourth, the sharp four, and the five. The bottom string is the root, the ninth or the second, the flat third, and the third. And they all work together to kind of lead to that final destination of the B flat chord. Okay, so that's fun little Count Basie lick. So have fun with that one. And the next shape is E, and that's the easy one. We got a million of those. In fact, you're going to teach me some of those. I want to see some videos of you guys doing some E shape licks. Uh, but actually, if you've got, if you come up with some, post some videos of, of you doing your own, your own licks. I want to learn. I want to learn some of yours. So God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.